Hey, what the hell am I doing with my life? What's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums. And today, I'm going to do uh, the second review of the day. The second review. And that would be the latest Kojak album, Towns Dead. I'm going to be very quick with this one. So, Kojak is a rapper from Dublin, Ireland. And this is his latest album. And uh, I've heard a lot of rap music from the USA. I think I've heard some from Canada. I've heard rap music from the UK, but not much from Ireland. So this has got to be like probably the first Irish rap album I've ever reviewed in this channel. And um, also I've ever actually listened to multiple times. But anyways, this rap album is... Um, Jazz rap, conscious rap, maybe a little bit of pop rap, um, hardcore rap as well. And it does wear its influences on its sleeves. It does sound like slow tie at a few points, which is not a bad thing. It's not a total carbon copy ripoff of slow tie. And the instrumentals are really jazzy and relaxing sometimes. It actually kind of reminds me of some of the more relaxing cuts off of Kendrick Lamar's discography or something. But uh, yeah, this album, it's a pretty long one, almost an hour long, and um, it's actually pretty solid and one of the better rap albums I've heard this year. So we have the album opener Heartbreak, which is a stellar album opener with bright pianos, easygoing instrumentals, these jazzy synths, and the whole thing comes together. And he sort of has um, many different changing flows on this track. And then we have bits where there's vocal manipulation, we have bits of singing, and the whole track is just a very bright and welcoming opening for the album. We have an interlude which leads to a title track with a very tight beat, a very tight flow with, again, changing gears. We have softer bits, we have faster bits, and blah, blah, blah. and the whole track is just pretty damn solid. And on this track, he sort of talks about his home life, his identity, his origins, uh, the town where he's from. He's saying that his town's not dead, but it's dormant. And he sort of talks about the gentrification of his town and the people in his town a little bit on this track and on many other tracks on the album. Wicked Tongues is another really good song on this album with the relaxing bass and keyboards and really thoughtful lyrics. Um, as far as lyrics go, he talks about many things on this album, including socioeconomic class and all the way to more personal topics like mental health. Anyways, we have the track Schmelly, which does sound like a pretty dumb title for a track. And the track has a pretty simple trap beat, pretty simple instrumental, which is not really all that memorable or anything. Lyrically, it's also pretty solid. It has, it deals with the idea of having hope looking up to someone of a higher power and also the feelings of paranoia. We have the track That Deep which is also instrumentally one of the highlights on the album for me. We have a bustly trap beat which is then matched with these very fluid plasticky keyboards which creates this really nice sound effect and we have these singing which is really well mixed into the rapping and together it's uh, just a very good combination of sounds really and we all have black sheep part one and a little bit later in the album we have black sheep part two and together these tracks these two tracks are a little bit more quiet and a little bit more toned down instrumentally than other tracks we have these skippy beats and these jazzy horns and together they sound pretty nice and we again we have more thoughtful and thought-provoking lyrics about personal issues and the second track has a little bit of vocal manipulation which is not that bad i like that he's changing up his styles a little bit here and there but we have tracks like Rover as well as uh, a little bit later in the album coming up where the entire track is basically laced with auto-tune and the beats are really scant. These two tracks are easily two of my least favorite tracks on the entire album, especially for coming up where it's just really obnoxious. The melodies are mind-numbingly annoying at times and uh, the whole track just feels like a total dud. Anyways, Jinty Boy Blues is more of a low-key track and uh, 
also has a very toned down, low key performance, and we have very smartly written lyrics, essentially dealing with a heartbreak, but uh, with some really spicy, cheeky insults. And um, yeah, it doesn't stand out as a track for me, instrumentally anyways. No Hands has these relaxing keyboards, and we have lyrics about growth and facing adversity, especially uh, at the end of the track where Kojak basically talks about how he wishes his father would be there and, and to be proud of him. The track Sex and Drugs lyrically is about sex and drugs and how it's it leads to self-destruction and you know Kojak's not the first ever rapper to talk about that but uh, there is that essentially what I don't like about this track however is the layered vocals he sings throughout the entire song and the layered vocals is kind of kind of like a, 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 a bee that's just buzzing just and it just never ends until the song ends and it's, it's a little bit annoying, I have to admit. But the rest of the album is still pretty damn good. We have Fallen For It, which is a very fun and playful cut with dry and screechy beats, interesting samples, and uh, instrumentally got to be one of the more memorable ones. The track Casio is more of a moody and atmospheric track, and lyrically, it's, talk it's about how Kojak's friend almost committed suicide and how Kojak talked him out of it and it's definitely one of the more personal and um, thought-provoking moments on the album lyrically and the album ends off with curtains which is like the end credits for the album it's emotional it has some nice pianos and it ends off with um, I won't say theatrical but it sounds uh, very conclusive the way the horns and the drums uh, the way everything comes comes together at the end it just sounds really conclusive and it sounds like a really solid ending to the album so yeah overall I'm not I'm just not going to uh, dive too deep into the album or anything it's definitely instrumentally and lyrically one of the better rap albums this year and um, it is a good one my favorite track here is probably the album opener heartbreak and my least favorite is coming up I'm giving Kojak's Towns Dead a light 8 out of 10. So, have you listened to the latest Kojak album from 1 to 10 number 3? Like, if like, and subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching. Um, next album I'm going to be reviewing is the latest Vince Staples album, the self-titled one. Uh, 